This is a video about waterfall formation. Now, waterfall formation isn't a particularly difficult thing to get your head around, but if you want to get full marks in an exam question that asks you to explain how a waterfall is formed, you're going to have to use lots of key words and all the names of the different river processes that occur during its formation. So, I'm going to tell you exactly how to explain how waterfalls formed in order to get full marks in an exam question on this. Step 1. Now, for a waterfall to form, what you need is you need a band of quite hard rock, quite resistant rock, next to a band of quite soft rock, soft, less resistant rock, okay? So that is the condition you need for a waterfall to begin to form. Step two. Now, because you've got this band of hard rock next to this band of soft rock, what's going to happen is, because this soft rock is much less resistant than the hard rock, that is going to erode much quicker than the hard rock. And this is going to create this kind of step in the river that begins to show what the waterfall actually looks like. Okay, And the main processes that cause this to happen is obviously erosion, but it's particularly hydraulic action, so the power of the water, and also abrasion. So when rocks and, and bits of sediment are picked up by the water in the river and they kind of scrape away against the bed and banks of the river, causing it to wear away. And this creates the step in the river, as you can see here. Step three. Now, once you've got this step in the river caused by hydraulic action or abrasion, what can happen is the water flowing over this step in the river can start to erode the soft rock underneath the hard rock. And this kind of erodes underneath it in a process we call undercutting. So this will eventually actually leave some hard rock overhanging, as you can see in the diagram here. So you get erosion of the soft rock under the hard rock, leaving overhanging hard rock. At the bottom of the waterfall, you also get what we call a plunge pool, and that is basically formed by hydraulic action. So the water flying over the top of this step and eroding downwards, a bit of vertical erosion at the bottom of the waterfall, creating a plunge pool. Step 4. Now finally, what can happen is this overhanging hard rock that we saw in the previous diagram can actually be undercut so much, so it can become overhanging so much caused by erosion underneath it, that it actually can't hold its weight anymore and it will eventually collapse. And this will leave what we can see in the diagram here. And basically this process can be repeated over and over again, so we get more undercutting, more overhanging hard rock, which will then collapse. And that there can repeat over and over again till the waterfall actually retreats backwards upstream. So it goes backwards upstream. And this will form what we call a gorge. So basically a river with some steep valley sides where the waterfall used to be. And that is how to do it. So we should now be able to explain in good detail, using keywords and names of river processes, how a waterfall is formed. And you should be able to get full marks in an exam question on this. That's all for now.